doctorshare.org and today I'm going to show you how to change the memory on UCS. Now this type of work is being done by system administrator, system engineer, network engineer, uh, depend who get the call. So you get the memory wherever you order this from. Uh, of course it's not just one memory, I'm just showing you an example. There's a lot of memories in this. Now why do you need this for our new members who are learning IT stuff? You basically get this kind of stuff, your company, this is very expensive stuff and they buy this, right? And this is a very, uh, this hardware have a lot of space, a lot of memory in it. That's why people use it, specifically for memory. So for example, this has like a 356 memory, you need 356, 356, 356, you want to upgrade it, right? Uh, and what do you use this for? A lot of your virtualization, like a vSphere host, are inside this, basically, like a virtual in, uh, server. So it could be 50 servers on one, 50 on another, 50 on another, 50 on another, like that. And then you can move them together in, e like, you know, let's say for example, this one is having an issue, or you want to upgrade it, you can move that uh, virtual servers into this server extremely easy. And another way, I love this new way of taking out servers, now you have these small slots like these. So once you open this, like for example right now, you open that and you just, uh, you know, pull that towards you like that, and this is out. And you take it out and then you put the memory in there. Of course, you're not going to do this uh, in a live environment without getting into the system. I'm not going to teach about that. That's UTS, Cisco stuff. Of course, that's something you're going to learn. How to shut down the server, decomposition, uh, decomposition server, all that kind of stuff. You need to do learn that. But I have done that. And now I'm just showing you how to change the memory in this. I'm going to take it out and show you that. Once it is out, put it in a secure location. And a lot of people will use something for secure, like, you know, some gloves for security. I'm not using that. Sorry about that. You just hit this button right here, this little pull thing, push it, and then move the server this way. And this will get unlocked and you take it out. The next step is to remove the cover from the memory. It's extremely easy. I love the new servers, UCS servers, all these type of things. You know, they're coming up with some cool way of making our job easy. So these are all the, the memory RAM right here. And you can see uh, I have done all of it, but I want to give you guys one example. And before you do that, you will open these little hooks right here. You see, you're just going to open that. Now make sure you're pointing it correctly. A lot of people will be very careful, you know, holding this and everything. Uh, make sure you just kind of like, you know, search about how to safely put it. But here, here you go. You just put it there. You hit the first, like, you know, just push the, the left side first or the right side, it's up to you. But make sure it clicks. You know, hear that click? There you go. It should click. And all of it should be like that. Then simply you will put everything back. And let's say I'm gonna put that cover back in there. It should go in smoothly into that little, um, this little like hook that coming out right there. Of course I'm doing it with one hand, having trouble, but here you go. Very simple, they, it should fit in like that. And this should also fit in very smoothly. So there you go. That's it. And I'm gonna put the cover back now. When you put the cover back, you gotta you gotta look for this little hook right there. I'm gonna show you. See that? It has to be a little bit back. You're gonna put it down and then push it in. And once you push it in, it should do a click sound. And now this is done, upgraded. I'm gonna go and put it back now. Now it is important for you to know which side you're going to put it back again. Make sure you remember that if you're new, make sure you look into these other ones and they're pointing this way. So what you're going to do, if it's like totally like that, you're going to put it a little bit this way and then just put it in to make sure it's at least like, you know, uh, you feel like you don't want to push it more now. And now you're going to push this right here. That's what's going to do the job right there. There you go. So the nick is on and now everything will be turned on. The server will do its configuration and it will say Boop, you got more memory now so that's how you do it now of course there's more to it it's not that easy but the hardware the manual part of it is like that after that it's more like you learning the software uh, and and how to do that kind of stuff again you use this type of stuff very expensive stuff to put virtualization solutions on these things that's why people pay a lot of money for this thank you so much and if you like these kind of videos let me know in the comment section